just as a high tide leaves behind a transformed sea line, in a similar way, pandemic restrictions will inevitably leave a lasting mark on the social and political landscape. One of the most worrying transformations we have seen in Western societies is the emergence of a collectivist ideology totally at odds with Western understandings of personal dignity, freedom and responsibility. Collectivism views personal freedom and initiative with profound distrust and fear, placing its faith instead in top-down rule implemented through techniques of population control like social engineering, technocracy, mass coercion and propaganda. Collectivism always justifies its coercive interventions in the name of the greater good of society, tarnishing dissenters as selfish delinquents and enemies of the people. Collectivism views individuals as pawns on a chessboard who serve some master plan produced and directed by political and scientific elites. The discourse and policies of many Western governments and corporations now smacks of illiberal collectivism. Medical risks, including risks to children, are glossed over in the name of collective utility. The privacy of the home is sacrificed in return for marginal and scientifically questionable reductions in disease transmission. People are indefinitely separated from their loved ones for the greater good. The right to informed consent is eviscerated in the name of public health. Need I go on? The claim at the heart of collectivism that sacrificing individual rights will make us better off is a brazen lie. First, history is littered with failed experiments in collectivism, such as communism and national socialism. Second, rulers of the collective are not necessarily smarter or more virtuous than private citizens. Last but not least, if you trample on the individual for the sake of the collective, you make society an inhospitable, unfree and oppressive place for all of us.